Greetings, Hawklings, Cyber Dogs, and fellow gamers and fellow zombie shooters! We're back for another episode of Seven Days to Die. I just came back to my little base that I had there before after I picked up the uh, thing out in the chest that happened to go in the water. And this is what I want to check out here. What is this thing exactly? Of course, the only way to really find out is to sit there and take a look at it. And it looks like it is an iron boots schematic. So basically, you can craft, learn to craft iron chest armor. <laughs> All right. That should hold yourself pretty well against these zombies. Let's see. Let me see what I can do. I guess you just do like the books. I'm not ever found one of these so let's see oh come on sorry about the slow th slowness on that here we go iron boots let's see and now guys since we have got an iron pot cooking on there I'm going to show you what you need to do to make a torch now what you need to do to make a torch is you have to make something called tallow. The only way to make tallow is you have to use animal fat and you make tallow by cooking it in the pot. Now I'm going to grab a couple of things to to use as fuel here. These couch cushions work absolutely wonderful. So far the best source of fuel I've seen. Put a couple in there. See, that gives you five minutes of cooking time. You can't even get that with, with whole logs. You just put the fat in there and then start cooking. And as it cooks, it starts to fill in and you make the tallow. This is also how you can cook meat and several other things like apparently cornbread. But most important of all, I'm going to take this fat back out. Most important, even more important than the tallow, you can purify your water. So that is what we're going to be doing. Whoa, didn't mean to do that. Not sure how I did that. Apparently that's some quick way of doing that. But what you can do is you can take, let's see, that one's a good, that's good water, okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to let that brew so that I can get some decent water going on. And let's see, put this fat back because it's just taking up space in my inventory. And I'm going to show you how to make a torch. To make a torch, you have to have the tallow, as I said before. It used to be all you needed was cloth, fragments, and sticks. And it doesn't work that easily anymore. I believe it's under tools. Let's see. Torches. Torches. No. Uh, here we go. Torch. See, you have to take one thing of tallow, one cloth fragment, and one stick. Now, I've already, done, I've already made this recipe before, so I can already make myself a torch. Now torches don't work as easily as they used to when this game first started. You have to put them in specific places. Used to be you could put them just about anywhere. Not so much anymore. I'm going to make a few torches. Also, I don't think they stack anymore, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, they don't stuck. I just stuck it right in my inventory, which is fine. Really about the only thing you use it for is for lighting things up. And you can actually use it against the zombies. But in my case, I'm going to use it for lighting up this upper area. Because I'm getting kind of tired of sitting in the dark all the time. There we go. 
And also, it does not slow the zombies down like the game. When the game first started, it used to be if you put torches up, the torches would slow zombies down. That doesn't work anymore. I'm sorry to say. <laughs> anyway, it's time to kind of scrapify some of this stuff. Uh, let's see. Let's make some leather. And I'm going to save those nails. Um... I'm not going to be quick to put that into the scrap heap just yet. After what I did last time, that was so boneheaded. Uh, I'm going to put leather in here. The extra cooking pots in here. And put some of the food in here. It's always good to have the canned food around because I will show you later. What we're going to do is we're going to create a bug out bag. I'm going to try to make a, a backpack that I can take and just the essentials I need because you will find out soon enough why I'm going to need that. At least I hope I won't have to need it, but we'll see. We'll see. Looks like I got more bottle of murky water here. Might as well make some good water here. Make some good water. I've got 10 so far and I've burned up my couch cushions. And we'll put this one on this side. And continue making fresh water. Fresh, clean, honest to goodness water. Lovely, lovely, my dear, lovely. I'll keep about four on hand and put the rest in here for safekeeping. What else? Let's see. All right. Anyway, that's how you make torches, and that's how you make tallow. Let's see, what else while I'm here that I can show you? Oh, I think what we need to do soon, though, however, guys, is we need to eventually make a forge. But I'm not going to do that just yet. I've got to go back down here and do a little bit of of excavating here. Uh, let's, let me see. I went down here, didn't I? Yeah, I did. I never did find out what was in this room. And I am curious. Because it might be something pretty darn cool. Oh, wow. This isn't your typical wall. I have to get through the old-fashioned way. Some of the walls you can just, as I showed you, go through pretty easy. This seems to be reinforced, so there's something in here that I've got to find out what it is. Come on. Alright, there's one. Wish I could just jump over this. Wait a minute, can I? No. I guess if there was a space above it, I could, but... Watch me do a lot of axe swinging. There we go. Alright, what have we got in here? What have we got? We got a toilet. And some fresh water. Medicine cabinet with nothing in it. And a backpack with a spiked club, cloth chest armor, a hunting rifle stock, and some glass jars. I'll take all of that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, is that? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Where does that go? I guess it goes under the stairs. Hmm. That's not going to be easy to get through. Let me see. Let me see. Can I get through this all right? No, it's pretty much like the other one. I'll tell you what, guys. I'm going to stop this here, and then I'll bring you back, because this is going to take... Guys, I am back, and I finally got through that door, and I found what was so protected in here. Apparently, there's a gun safe. Let's 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 pray to the seven dies to... Step, blah, 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 seven days to die, gods. See if we can't get something good out of this. 
Ooh, let's see. We've got shotgun barrel, pump shotgun stock, hunting rifles, shotgun short stock, and shotgun short barrel. I will take all of that. Definitely. Alright, now guys, it's it's almost 2100 hours, which is basically 9 o'clock, and it also means that's when it gets dark. So I need to get up into my little base. Up char. Up char. Let's see. There we go. Whoa, 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 whoa. What am I doing? What am I doing? Alright, let's see. Do I have a frame to block that with? No, I do not. Well, I'm going to have to find one or make one. Let's see. All right. Let's put this to rest. Um, put this in here. Wait a minute. Let me see if I can stack some of this stuff here. Yeah, we can put these nails here. Put the brass here. Uh... This iron can stack. Tell you what, guys, I'm going to go finish going through this, and then I'll bring you back yet again, because this gets kind of boring. Welcome back, guys. I was doing a little bit of reorganizing and some cooking, and I just figured out how to make something new. I was uh, fiddling around with this, and if you take this corn meal that I found and throw in a little bit of water you get cornbread yep well I didn't want to do that exactly but and let's cook it and see what we get it might actually do us a little good health wise who knows uh, it takes a minute to cook anyway let's take a look see once it's done There we go. Cornbread. <laughs> Something new that we can eat. And let's see. It gives you t plus 10 fullness. Not too bad. Not too bad. I also made some boiled eggs. Now they're not really that big on fullness. They're about plus 8. So, still, what's good about those two particular items is they don't smell so you can carry them around and the zombies won't be smelling you so we're going to store those and as many foods as you can have that do not smell it's probably a good plan i don't understand though if they don't smell when they're cooked why does the venison smell i don't know it doesn't make any sense i don't think it smells as much as the raw though and anyway, we're going to drop these eggs in here And I think what we're going to try to do now, well, actually, it's almost morning. Wow. Time passes when you're having fun. Anyway, the zombies haven't really been all that interested in me tonight, which is kind of unusual. They're usually doing their darndest to get to me. But then again, this is day six, so we're going to have to do something probably a little early and not mess with that. We're going to probably have to build us a forge. And there's a reason why we're going to have to do that, because we've got to fortify this place, and I need an axe, and I'm going to need a pick. So, I can't do that without iron ingots, and the only way I'm going to make iron ingots is I have to have a forge. So, what we're going to do here is, let's see, we have got to come up with the recipe for forge. I'm not sure what that is exactly. Uh... Shoot, maybe it's over here. Uh, there's ingots. Brass ingot, croissant molds. Hmm. Tungsten ingot mold. I'm not finding a forge. I, you know, I'm a little afraid that maybe that's something you have to unlock now. That, would not be good if that's the case I don't see it 
Well, we can try the search. Let's try a forge. Forged iron. Oh boy. Not good, guys. We have to unlock a forge. We can make the forged iron molds, but we can't make any of the equipment. Oh, this is going to get kind of hairy. <laughs> quite a bit. Quite a bit hairy. We're going to have to go into the... F See, okay guys, let me make something perfectly clear here. Uh, here's the situation, okay? Well, in seven days to die... I can't get out of here. How do you get out of here? Oh, okay, there we go. In seven days to die... Seven days doesn't mean you have seven days to finish the game. What that... I think what it means is every seven days, you've got a good chance of dying. <laughs> Unless you can somehow survive. But every seven days, especially in the night, a horde of zombies will come. And these horde of zombies are not like the normal hordes. These zombies will find you. They know where you are, and their main goal is to get to you by whatever means necessary. That means they're going to tear your base from the base until they get to you. So your best bet is to have this thing fortified like you wouldn't believe and I have two days to do so. So either I have to quickly fortify this or I have to also find and forge. I'm going to see just how hard it's going to be to take out these stairs. There's a reason why I want to do this. Oh boy, this isn't going to be easy. The reason I want to do this is because the zombies cannot get through this brick very easy. And I can easily block up these holes. The problem is they can climb up these stairs and take down the doors pretty quick. That's why I picked this particular home. Because they have to get through this to get to me. And then they have to get it through two more floors. So it's actually very secure. So what I want to do, take out these windows. Uh, I need an axe, guys. <laughs> I need an axe. That's just all there is to it. I need an axe. Okay. Well, guys, I tell you what. This is what we're gonna do. This is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna stop this here, and then I'm going to come back. And we're gonna do a little more exploring and see if we can't find another book. We have to find a book that allows you to do foraging. That's just all there is to it. We gotta find it. So, guys, please be sure to share, like, comment, and subscribe. And I will be back, and I will find this silly forge book if it kills me. And it might. <laughs> anyway, guys, I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.